hi guys and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm teaching you how to make video tutorial just like the one you are seeing on your screen an example of how to make a faceless video that is a video without showing your face that is teaching tutorials how to be able to deliver a particular presentation or message without showing your face like this video tutorials i usually do on my channel if this is what you're interested in, then keep on watching. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kausara Abdufatsai. On this channel, I teach editing videos, tutorials, and also how to improve yourself in video creation. So if this is what you're interested in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you will be notified anytime i upload a new video so let's dive into the video proper on this video i'm going to be teaching you how to make a faceless video and also how to edit it so for this tutorial this first part you are seeing is me screen recording a particular editing software of picture a photo editing app so i am trying to screen record it using my x recorder as you know i love to use x recorder to screen record my videos or anything i'm doing on my phone for tutorials and lots more so after finishing editing and doing everything moreover i am screen recording then that particular video is what i will be showing you on my phone how to edit it into a faceless kind of video tutorial with my phone so the first thing is there is my phone and this is how i'm going to do I'll go about it try to concentrate watch to the end don't forget to like and comment your thoughts about it then we ride on all right guys so after you finish screen recording the particular video you want to use then the next thing for you to do is go to the editing app now it's time for me to edit the particular video pick and select for my gallery the particular recorded video i did then after picking or selecting the particular video i did i will bring it on into the app so this is how it's going to look like on your screen recording app that is on your InShot app so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to be showing you through my phone but this is how it looks like when it is being you done on your phone and i just want to show you the process at which i'm going to be adding and subtracting and also the kind of design i usually do using my phone i hope you'll be able to get it clear the next thing i get to do is to change the background currently the background you're seeing is in white color i love to use white because it gives attention to the center of what i want you guys to see the tutorial i want you guys to see Depending on the tutorial you are doing, hence the kind of background you should choose. But I prefer choosing a white background. As you saw earlier, I was trying to decide between the um, blue background and the white, and you can see the difference. So the second thing I do is to pick a PNG file. That is a kind of phone PNG software. You go to Google, you download PNG for phone, then you erase the background, and some of them already have been erased. So those are the type I normally download. So I bring it in through the sticker area of the InShot app. When you go to InShot, you go to the sticker area and you'll be able to bring in PNG or any other document just like what you're saying. So if you're able to bring it in, then you tap video to the hand and video to the beginning. So the PNG file will be able to move with the phone or the video tutorial from the beginning to the hand. Afterward, I love to redesign my app tutorial by adding the YouTube stickers. And so this is how it's going to be looking like after you've created that video to the end and video to the beginning. So the next thing I also love to do, as I said earlier, is to pick the kind of PNG like YouTube stickers, the subscribe button, and also add my channel name to my videos so this is how i do it i already downloaded different png files so it's already on my InShot hub because i do use it often anything you pick into the hub until you delete them it's always there so every other thing you bring it in by yourself then afterwards i place them from bigger video to the end and beginning then i write the name of my channel and afterward, I edit and decorate the name of my channel also by choosing a different color, a different background, just that I always want a kind of color that would be very 
bright and it will also be attractive for whoever is watching and it won't disturb the video you are about learning from so i think this is all if you know you have any question please comment don't forget to like subscribe to the channel and share to your friends thanks for watching bye mm -hmm.